Hey everybody and what is happening? Ish Daylight here and I've got another one of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Player Reviews. And as you can see, we are going to be doing the Calvin Johnson Team of the Week 94 overall card. If you had watched my last uh, pack opening, that bundle opening for the uh, Cyber Monday uh, and the Game Changer, you would have seen that I got the Trey Mason 90. So we're putting this together here. <laughs> going to get out some gameplay with him. Um, you know, if I said before, I do not really use my outside receivers. I'm more of the tight end slot receiver running back on my offense is my base. But uh, I I'm going to get out what I, for what I can here. That's why I think today I'm going to do more of a highlight videos instead of overall three gameplays and just do one gameplay near the end and we'll get some highlights because I know everyone wants to see that. You know, they're going to see what, uh, more of the card in action this time around. And then taking a look at the back of the card, of course, you got the six foot five, ninety four speed, ninety six catch. You know the uh, spec catch, ninety six. This guy's got a jump of ninety five. You know, and at six five, that's just crazy. Um, you know, he's he's not gonna have a lot of great elusiveness. You know, to him, he's 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 really a straight line runner. He plays just like a supreme tight end. You know, in a sense. Um, but of course, you know what he does, manned up on the sides. Um, you know, he seems a little slow a lot uh, coming across the middle of the field, though. And that's where I kind of noticed that a bit. But, you know, for the most part, again, these just look at the cards, just killer. And quick look at the, uh, you know, the offense I'm rolling with. Upgraded the middle of the line. Uh, Jason Peters, I noticed, gets, you know, he gets taken by that right end a lot, you know, when I'm trying to hold the ball and make some deeper passes. So I'm looking to upgrade him. And, you know, uh, and eventually I want to get a, a bigger Demarius Thomas. But, you know, um, there's some obviously there's always wants and needs for everybody it just seems to never stop right and right off the middle Calvin Johnson up the middle uh, breaking let's see breaking tackles the last guy gets him so you know that's one of the big you're, you're looking for you got a big guy the big body you want him to be able to make those you know make those plays and even more than that what's everybody wants they want they want the deep the bomb I mean I mean I see so many guys relying on this year a lot of the really good players and you know I'm watching off it's okay but they just they nailed these plays right here and this is why you have Calvin exactly Boom, over the top. The guy's clearly beat. I mean, he stopped. It didn't matter. He couldn't have caught up to that. I mean, that there's your money. That there's your value on your card. That's why you're running that. That's why you pick that guy up, you know? And here we go, running the uh, shallow wide cross again. So easy over the middle there with him. And you know, clear space. He's going to make that catch. I'd like to see him beat the first guy, but now he doesn't. Here we go again, motion him in. But this time we're going to bring him over to the left. Uh, easy through that. Like I say he's not super fast through those, you know, like I say, side to side, he doesn't, you know, but he, he is open in the play the way the coverage is, and he turns it up, and again here, we're just going to do a little stick after that one, so, see different phases he can run from different, you know, that sort of position at least, and here uh, I was checking out, this is one of my runs I care for, and, you know, he's the outside blocking, so I want to see what he's going to do on this, and he kind of whiffs on the block, and his guy's the one that comes in, and, and luckily I break that tackle on it, um, he, I'm getting kind of mixed reviews on a block, and when he gets a hold of guys, normally pretty good, but he does seem to whiff a bit, you know. But hey, Jim Maul, what up? But after all, he is going to be better than the average guy. He's not too far below the better guy, so that's another bonus you're going to get for him. And it, this is one of the kind of a, more of a dangerous throw with these deep in cuts, and uh, you've really got to use that and cut it in and hope the guy doesn't uh, use her and drive on you afterwards. That's kind of why those are tough. And way deep and up, and there we go again. Just, just. You know, Moss and them, Calvin, whatever. Megatron is going to make those plays for you. You know, if a guy tries to leave him single coverage, it's just not a good good uh, move. So um, a lot of the uh, things I figured, is it's easy to force the ball to him. But when he does stuff like that, I mean, how do you not? You know, it's it's it's, it's hard. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try and uh, work in a better offense overall to maybe where I'm running some more underneath stuff where I can pull the coverage down and then just, you know, if occasionally – Pop, pop, beat him deep. Now when I overthrow, and guess who catches that? It is the team of the week, Richard Sherman. So this game here, I see, I'll get a few clips. Now this is him on Sherman again. I want to get some redemption here. Up, another in cut, and he just beats a man up. That was man coverage, and he just takes that down, no problem. So, uh, you know, if, long, if I can beat this guy, that's what I want to go for, see what he can do against him. I try to get a deep throw on it, but he doesn't have Sherman on him for some reason on this one, and he just easily blows past the, uh, the coverage there, catching that one. And I'd like to see him kind of break that tackle, but you also can't hold that against him because it's such a great play. You know I mean? You're, uh, when you're down in games or to the end of halves or end of quarter stuff where you need a big play, Gosh, I mean, really, you got to ask yourself, I mean, when you look at the price of that, is there any other receiver you want, you know, in that situation? No, there's not. There's clearly not. Here we go. We're going to scream, but instead, nope, we're going to go on the outside. Him against Sherman. Here we go again one more time, and this time I get the position on it, get there, and I just, I ended up thinking I was going to have to go down on the stumble. It was up. I guessed wrong, and, uh, you know, I, otherwise, it, you know, maybe a touch, but uh, just a great play by him. Here we go deep. 
Again, I get the animation, but that one uh, didn't work out. A little over. I mean, you know, as long as you don't throw a pick in those plays, and you know, uh, you know, maybe not third down, it's just time them right. It, sh it should be pretty good. We're gonna slant here. See if I can get the touchdown. Nice gets that. Just dives in, fights. He's gonna be money on on most slants, but this one right here was a big one on that. This is you know that on that drive and. Those are the plays I'm saying that I've seen him drop where uh, he gets tackled or hit after he makes those cuts. Uh, you know, you like to see him hold on to that because he's such a tough guy, but he, he does drop a decent amount of those, uh, unfortunately. But that's not, you know, what are you going to do? Here we go at the end of the half, and oh my goodness. He's got, again, another Richard Sherman out there, and I think that might have been Eric Reed. And he just, look at this. He tries, he tries to press me, get off me. No chance. And then Eric Reed can't even catch this. So as long as you get a quarterback, you can put that in there. And, I mean, you know, he gets in. And, the, you know, the feet look kind of close on that one. But, you know, so I'd watch that again. One-handed. One, two. Uh, so, all right. Now, we're going to move into a gameplay. And before I get too far into this one, uh, it's not the greatest for me. It's actually kind of a funny one. There's Poe in there. Um, I actually went out after work, had a couple of drinks with, with a buddy, and came home playing some Madden, and, and uh, definitely too buzzed to be playing this, And but this was the game for it, so, uh, you know, just to, just to give you a kind of, you know, insight on how I was doing, what I was doing here, some of the odd things that I end up doing that I normally don't, but this guy comes out, um, you know, good play there, after he throws the pick, I basically threw, just threw up some prayers, and I ended up punting back, so I had to edit this, I don't want the, this the video to be super, super long, but... Um, just know the first couple drives, and then he gets the ball back, and he gets a step on on Talib, and he's showboating right there on me. So I'm like, okay, guys, you know, showboating on Eric Reed. Eric's gonna remember that. Just just know. I don't know if any of you guys got that that card, but he's just been great. Um, there we go again. He's going down. He's got the seven nothing lead, and again, just keeps chucking these up. So he beat me once. So you know, pretty much the whole game, rest of the game, he just assumes he's gonna beat me again on it, and um. And I'll tell you what, right now, after that one Tlaib one, even the guy makes plays for me, he, I can see he's fighting. Uh, so I'm pretty much set now that I'm just going to save the coin. I'm not going to buy any other players. I'm going to save up and get myself a Sherman, put Pat Pete on the other side. And right there, I read it, but, you know, I, I don't have the motor skills, apparently, to get the, uh, you know, the LT and the Y and actually make the play, even though I read it. So, and then on that one, I guessed he was going to run an off tackle. I just gambled, and, you know, he beat me. You know, what you, you know you're close there. What are you going to do? Um, so... So, like I said, being being inebriated as I was, you know, great kick uh, return here by Pat. I thought right now, I thought coming in at the end of the game with this his two-minute warning, I thought this was the fourth quarter. No lie. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm sitting here stressing, going, I need to get these points. I need to get in, you know. And there's just a dump off to Charles to get some yardage back. You know, third and nine. We got we got to make some plays. I'm thinking, got to score. Got to tie this game up, you know. Gronk. So I'm pushing it, which I would be doing for the half anyway, but I'm pushing it because I think I need to do an onside kick afterwards to get the ball back. I mean, I say I was not in the right mind, but, you know, it's it's okay. And that pass, whatever, whatever, Madden, okay. Got the guy out there, apparently he doesn't look on some routes. He doesn't look. The receiver won't. So even though you throw him wide open, he doesn't see it. And there's Calvin cutting across the middle. Good catch on that little that little route. It's kind of an odd route. But, uh, you know, I go in, I tie it up. So, you know me, guys, I do not do onside kicks at the first quarter, first half stuff. I would easily kick this down, play defense, and went in because I was getting a ball back. But, again, I think I need this. I think this is the fourth quarter. I'm just I'm out of my mind right now. So I go down, he gets it, and I'm like, don't realize, I just put myself in a bad spot, but I don't have a clue, I think it's the end, you know, almost the end of the game, and here we go, the triple option, you can't run that on me, and I muff it up, though, I mean, I still, I read it, but again, I don't make the pick, and watch this, guys, when I'm sober, okay, this is what I do in these plays, this is me versus triple option normally. There you go, you run it, I cut it, get in place. Okay, but again, the motor skills are not there for me now, so, you know, apparently, you know, I, I guess I should have been happy I just went and blocked that ball. But, you know, and here, one more again. This is me, again, using the same guy. This is the right side. The same guy I was just using failed on. And I catch this one also and take it to the house. So, just, just you know, in case you were doubting me, I the triple option is one of the plays I do use it pretty well. You know, I definitely am not one of the better. I need work. Uh, I, you know, I just started playing this game, the Mutt uh, stuff, last year. Uh, and, and I was playing that on PS3. And so... This year, transitioning to the Xbox One, I mean, it plays so different. It took me a while to really get onto that. So I'll, I, I'm going to keep working on the user stuff, get better. I want to get more of those. That's definitely what what separates, you know, the uh, the, the you know the above average. Like I say, I'm above average player from the really really good players. You know, the, the high end players. That's your user skills on there. You know, if, so until I can get that cleaned up, 
I'm not going to be there. But here we go again, and I'm thinking it's fourth down, and I get stuffed inches short. And I'm thinking it's the end of the game here. You know, and then I'm sitting here wondering, he's doing this, and I still don't catch it. You know, he's, he's just bombing. I'm sitting there thinking, well, I'm just happy that he's stopping the clock for me, you know. I'm like, that's, that's weird. I thought he was trying to run it up. I'm like, well, but who cares? I'm thinking maybe I'll get the ball on fourth down if he's stupid. But then Captain Poe pushes his lineman into him, and he throws it right to Levy when he was trying to go deep. And at least I don't run into my players. I get a touch, and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, it's going to overtime. So let's just get the ball. Let's go to overtime. You know, and let's go for the win. You know, hopefully we'll get that. Get that. You know, get get the f coin flip. And uh, then I realized this is when I realized, oh crap! It's only halftime. I mean, that game I thought just took forever for me, man. You know, that it must have been it. It just, you know, I must have thought I was playing for hours for that first half. Just, just ridiculous. But again, you know, alcohol and Madden don't mix, guys. So just so you know. We come out firing deep to Calvin and actually overthrow him with Jay again. So we come out third down, and, you know, that route's going to work. All, all that really matters is you're underneath coverage, and luckily he was user in. So come back out again, a slant to him. He's holding it in front. Um, like I said, the ones he's dropping is when he has a, a, a cover corner guy on his backside holding on to him. Those ones he drops, I noticed. But everything else, he's pretty solid, you know, for the most part. So, um but again, I mean, that's not exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for anything else. But wide open. Here we go. Now, room and the stiff arm throws his ass down. And right there, uh, I can't explain to you what I did. Again, uh, just it's just the, the mindset I was in. I have no clue. Maybe I didn't see the nine guys to the left there. Jamal Charles. Oh, what a spin. Uh, you know, right there, Calvin was tired. He didn't hold his block. But luckily, that spin moved. So I go up. I got the lead now. So... We just got to hold this guy, Mr. Bomb Threat. Uh, you know, he throws one there, so I clipped it early, but, you know, of course, incomplete. He goes again. This time, he's finally tar targeting a different guy. I got Eric Reed out there, and I don't even make the jump on it. I did not position up again. Again, these motor skills were off on me. I was you know, making the, the play reads for the most part, and again, I'm right there. I'm right there, but I, I can't figure out the whole LT and Y and get it. Instead, I just run to the spot and forget that again, but, you know, hey, he cuts outside. He's Look at them. Look, he's showboating, guys. He didn't even score. He's showboating. And why is that important? Because I got Eric Reed as a safety. And if you and if you are going to run some stupid stuff like that, and you come up and you go over the top and he hits you, boom, dropping the ball. How stupid are you going to feel? Right? You're going to be pissed. I mean, that's going to be some all-time rage on your end, right? So uh, that's what you can expect. You're going to rage quit. And I was laughing my ass off. I mean, that it was a whole thing for fun. You know what I mean? I was a little out of it. It was a, kind of a throwaway part of the season anyway, you know? So... Thank you all for watching. Calvin Card is a, a is a monster. You guys knew that to begin with. So uh, thanks again. From the hopscotch to the seven stone, in and out and around the zone, inside the mind to the barrel, the time to write a poem. Expressions of a world rolled up into a notion. Popping with double copies of a gravy potion. As pins ink seeps in between cracks of blotted intents, puzzled on Lucas crumbled at the side of its dents. Pictures with elixir to help map out its origins. While orchids dance to draw patterns of an earthly world. I stand adjacent to awe, as everything that once held life within its palms trips and slowly falls deep into that big regret without any baby steps and no shoes to cover up the 